This is a room. It's not a fancy looking room, but just, you know, go with me on this. Let's start filling it with random individuals until we have 23 people in the room. Here is a question for you. What is the chance that at least two of them would share the same birthday? If you haven't heard of this problem before, go ahead and pause the video and think about your answer. Now, if you have Googled the answer, you would know that it is how much? 50%. Yes. In a room of 23 individuals selected at random, there's around a 50% chance that at least two individuals would share the same birthday. When you mention this fact to people, they look at you and they are probably thinking that you are crazy, but you're not crazy. In fact, this fact was even called a paradox, the birthday paradox. But is this paradox really a paradox? The first clue should be the 50%. You see, you're not saying that a room with 23 individuals selected at random is guaranteed to have at least two people sharing the same birthday. There is a 50% chance for that to happen. This means out of many, many rooms with 23 individuals selected at random, about 50% of those will have at least two individuals sharing the same birthday and the other 50% would not. But it's problematic to say that, and you will see why later on. Let's simplify things a bit. Let's imagine there's only 10 days of the year that people can be born in. 1st of January to 10th of January. Let's bring in a random guy into the room, and he's called, I don't know, Guy A. That's not what I called him, that's what his parents called him. Not my fault. Okay, so what's the chance that at least two individuals would share the same birthday? It doesn't make any sense at all. You need at least two individuals. I, I don't count, by the way. So let's bring in guy B. What's the chance that at least two individuals would share the same birthday? Well, out of the total number of possibilities, there's 10 birthdays that can be shared between the two. So that number divided by the total number of possibilities gives you 10%. And the probability in this case that they would share the same birthday is 10%. Now, Let's bring in one more guy. He's called Guy C. Yes, I'm very creative. What's the chance that at least two individuals would share the same birthday? Is it still 10%? No, not really. It's more than 10%. Before I tell you what the exact percentage is, let me show you a few simulations. And you tell me if you notice anything weird in those simulations that would raise the chance that at least two individuals would share the same birthday. So here we go. Simulation one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so how many of those simulations ended up with at least two of them sharing the same birthday? Well, I don't know. I'm doing the simulation after they turned out to be this many simulations. If you wanted to get the chance at least two of them would share the same birthday, we'd have to repeat the simulation over and over and over again. Eventually, the chance will tend to around 28%. The reason the probability becomes much higher is because if guy A and guy B don't share the same birthday, then guy A and guy C might share the same birthday. And if guy A and guy C don't share the same birthday, then guy B and guy C can share the same birthday. When we only had guy A and guy B, we could only make one comparison. When we introduced guy C, we could make three comparisons. If you introduced one more guy, guy D, you can make six comparisons. If you introduced guy E, you could make 10 comparisons and so on and so forth. Apply the same concept to 365 days and you can see why there's a 50% chance that at least two individuals would share the same birthday in a room with 23 people selected at random because you could make 253 different comparisons. However, we haven't really covered all the ways that the birthday paradox can seem as if it is a paradox. The reason I mentioned earlier that out of many rooms with 23 people selected at random, 50% of which would have at least two people sharing the same birthday while the others would not, and that is problematic is because you don't need that many to have an almost guaranteed chance to have at least two people sharing the same birthday. In fact, you only need around 70 people selected at random to have more than a 99.9% .9 chance to have at least two people sharing the same birthday. Let's imagine that this is a hotel. 
every room in this hotel represents a particular day in the year. All other days to this hotel do not exist. The hotel only allows guests who share the same birthday as the room's date to be in that particular room. If the hotel catches any room with two individuals in it, the hotel manager gets so angry and evicts everyone from the hotel and they start all over again. I want you to tell me in the next 10 simulations, how likely is it that the hotel is going to be fully booked? So here it is. Simulation one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. As you can see, the more people check into the hotel, the more difficult it gets to have someone check into the hotel and not have his or her room already occupied by someone else. Now imagine the same thing, but with a hotel that has 365 rooms in it, representing 365 days. It's unbelievably unlikely to have the hotel fully booked. The chance is extremely low. It is about this much. If you managed somehow to get the hotel fully booked, all you have to do is bring in one more guy. And now it's 100% guaranteed that at least two individuals would share the same birthday although everyone would be so pissed at you because as soon as the guy checks in the hotel will evict everyone yeah now with that said let's change the problem just a bit let's imagine that you are in the room yourself and you are looking for someone else who shares the same birthday as you now it's a bit more intuitive because in a room with 23 people in it one of them is you there's a around a six percent chance that one of them would share the same birthday as you. Why? Because the birthday paradox allows anyone's birthday to be compared to anyone else's birthday. But in this case, only your birthday counts and that lowers the chance. But it can get counterintuitive again. Why? Tell me this. How many people would you have to fit into the room until you had a 50% chance that at least one of them would share the same birthday as you? Is it half the days in the year? So 365 divided by 2, how much is that? 180-ish. Is that how many you need? No, you need more than that. You need 253 individuals in the same room. If you wanted more than a 99.9% .9 chance that at least one of them would share the same birthday as you, you would need 2,518 people, which is a lot. So with all that said, is the birthday paradox a paradox? No. It's not a paradox at all. As long as you have a good understanding with what's going on in the birthday paradox, then you are ace and you can move on with your life. I mean, you can make up a birthday paradox that's not the original birthday paradox. For example, let's say you wanted to find out how many people would you have to fit into a room until you have a 100% guaranteed chance that at least one of them would share the same birthday as you. Even if you fit the entire population of the Earth into the room, you wouldn't get a 100% chance. Now, this only works if the individuals you're bringing into the room, the random individuals, come from an infinite pool of individuals where anyone can be born on any of the 365 days of the year. Look, anytime you bring infinity into anything, things get weird really fast. So let's not get into that. Maybe you can come up with a birthday paradox that's not the original birthday paradox. If you do, do let me know what it is in the comments. Until then, is the birthday paradox a paradox? No, it's not a paradox. Thank you very much, and I will see you next time.